wanted to share with you is you can make hair strokes that go from the bottom up and around, up and around, and up and around. But when you get pretty close to the beginning, certainly in the first third, most people's hair wants to go down. So you're still building up to your arch. But let's say you want to get up here and that hair stroke just won't go in. So what you do is you reverse the direction of your hair stroke and you come from up toward you, up toward you. So don't be afraid to reverse your hair strokes if it feels like they're not going in. And then these hairs start getting pretty level as they are tapering toward your tail. You can even work from your tail toward, toward you. So here you've got your, your sort of your skeleton or your backbone of your brow. And here you have your transition point, right? Try to avoid that herringbone pattern. I'm not real thrilled about the herringbone pattern. At this point, you're just going to slip your cartridge out of your hand tool and into your machine. I've got it set on five for my power supply. the fun part holding your brow really tightly like that start out here and you can hear and see and feel your your ombre brow it's like skipping stones on water tilt it so you get down here you can come toward yourself. Brup, brup, brup. And then when you come toward the nose, lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Don't be afraid if you go outside. Because you just skipping in color, it's beautiful, but your stretch is 100% important. And the more you go over it, the more color you will have. these skipping stones like and then tilt tilt when you're going down really stretching 
I've got the needles out about a millimeter, a little bit. Now you can come down here too. Okay, you're gonna see this skipping. And um, because the ombre brows, ombre brows definitely uh, darker at the bottom, but it gets real pale in here. So come in here, toward here, and lift up and out. Brup, brup, brup. And here you go, brup, 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 brup. You've got total control, total control. Even if you go outside a little bit, it's very, you've still got control. You're starting to get a nice soft, what I call a complete brow uh, on the skin is probably going to be a lot harder. This is difficult working on this practice pad, but you get the idea how you can layer your hair strokes and on top of it you can put a veil of color like a bride's face. You can still see the face, you can still see the hair strokes, but now you've got your bride's face covered slightly with a veil. Let's just do a little, a few more. Let's go, right now really, you gotta stretch so hard. Whoop. Brrrp, brrrp. Can you see that? It's just, it's just skipping. very soft is very superficial and I think that's why it heals in such a nice color because we haven't gone too deeply we're, we're gonna have a complete brow now just a little bit more just really stretch the harder you stretch you remember you're flattening the skin and I've said for years, the skin is like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And uh, the more you stretch, the more you flatten the bread and you get down into the peanut butter and jelly, you won't get bleeding. You will not get really much bleeding at all if you're doing this right. So you're client is going to leave and they're going to have this complete brow um, with the love handle for the hair strokes with the needle in there. It's very, very fine hair strokes, very nice. And then with the love needle transferred to the handpiece. And you can put finger cots, etc., whatever you want and you're gonna to wanna to sanitize your hand pieces.
it's literally the needles are skipping on this skin just like rocks on water you know when you skip rocks on water and broop, broop, you can see a slight shadow there the more you put in here the more color you'll get the more of the uh, complete brown and your clients will be very happy now when she comes back healed she's going to keep all her color it's going to be the same color as when she left and this is what you're going to want to do these top hairs here will need reinforcement don't work with empty needles remember dip tap and stroke dip tap to get the pigment down and stroke We're at the end of our video and Kelsey, my fabulous helper for this videotape, she and I would like to thank you very much for watching and I wish you tremendous success, confidence and even profitable future. Aloha, Dr. Dixon. Work your body line, yeah. Work, 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 Sinora, work it all.